Hi everyone, this is Joey with our weekly Q&A. China is aiming to be the first country in the world to launch a digital currency. Today, we have our senior analyst Dennis Chin to give us some insights on digital renminbi. Dennis, what's the digital renminbi all about and how does it work? Since 2014, China's central bank has been working on a project called DCEP, the Digital Currency and Electronic Payment. Mr. Yi Jiang, the governor of the People Banks of China, said the plan was not to create a new currency, but to partially digitize China's existing monetary base, or cash in circulation. So in other words, they would just change the form of money from paper to coding. Unlike Bitcoin, where in its original form it is a decentralized database stored across a network of computers, the digital human being work in a different way. The central bank would probably prefer to be in control of a database, so that only they can view all transactions and edit records. Some have called this a private, permissioned form of blockchain. Are there any disruptions caused by the digitalization of human B? The new digital currency will not replace deposit held in bank account or balance held by payment app such as WeChat Pay or Alipay. So from the end user perspective, you won't feel any of the changes. Note that WeChat Pay and Alipay is the tool to act as a e-wallet to store and execute the transaction through a link or QR code. So the two apps are complement among the digital human being system. However, there are a few possible changes we could think of compared with paper money. First, under a digital payment system, it will be possible for the central bank to check all cash transactions, which officials have claimed that it will help battle money laundry, illegal gambling, and terrorist financing. More importantly, the new digital currency could provide a neater way for banks to settle payments with each other, rather than through the existing clean system. In the long term, central bank digital currencies could create a different settlement mechanism for cross-border transactions between countries, which could reduce the dependency of US dollar clearing. That's it for our weekly Q&A. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned up with us. Thank you and see you again next time.